Today's the big day. All that hard work to get to this one event. We're going to be putting on a exhibition. We're going to have three events with our multi-rotors for the Kentucky Science Center. Arriving early today just to see what the area is going to look like with all of the netting up, making sure everything's green, making sure everything's up. I've been practicing for the last three days, put in about 15 hours of practice to uh, make sure that we can actually put on a good show. Hopefully we do. Along the way, certainly broken a lot of things. We've at least gone through one flight controller, three motors, one battery. So we'll see how things go. It's always good to put on events like this, try to showcase multi-rotors for the public. But it's also a lot of work. A lot of stuff involved in trying to put it on an event. go hopefully the doors already open this is for the Kentucky Science Center this is one of their larger fundraisers so we were one of the people that were selected to help for the event hey. Hey, Mark, how are you just checking in okay yeah, uh, can, can everybody just walk through this area? Okay. Oh, wow. They got all the netting up pretty quickly. Well, hopefully we don't hit this netting because it's certainly not going to last if a blade hits this. Let's see what's going on. Looks like the crew's already arrived. I'm the late comer. Oh dear, here we go. Everything fixed? Nope. He's still soldering away. No, I'm fixing mine. Oh, did you find another ESC? No, I'm putting on the, the new 24 amp ESCs that I was going to put on my new build. You sure you want to risk that? I don't think you want to risk that. What do you mean? Uh, what else am I going to do? Everyone is fucking sold out of KISS 30 amps. Uh, even Germany? Even Germany. They might not be pushing the KISS 30 amps anymore. Well, my only bet is if somebody contacts me on Facebook. Uh, can you actually order from Germany? Yeah. I ordered all the, the new ones. These, uh, these right here, the KISS 30 amps. 24s, you mean, right? Or 24s, yeah. Yeah, 24s? Yeah. yeah. They look good. We'll see. I don't know. Like... I gotta, I gotta order some kisses anyways, but like, I probably have to order them from Germany. There though. was literally no sign of damage to the the ESC, but I plugged in that motor and smoke instantly came out of it. The motor or the ESC? The motor. It just cooked the motor. I don't know what to say. How's the uh, how's the uh, QAV flying over here? Is it good? Yeah, dude. Look, look how clean that is. I've completely rebuilt the thing. You always rebuild shit. You know that. I directly soldered everything, so there's no failure point. Okay. Uh, you guys, uh, feel, you guys got any practice in, or you just got here yourself? I just got here, not too long ago. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead, clear off this table because they said they want to use this table. I'm going to shorten that string so that uh, it doesn't fly too far away, and then um, I guess you guys are just going to keep practicing. Pretty close. Look at that. You got, you bought a pretty good shirt. Mm. Yeah, they're actually identical. I think they are identical. Okay, cool. Do, 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 do. You feel confident? You good? Yeah, I'm. I feel great. I'm just. I'm just pissed that this is not because I want to go fly this morning. <laughs> Dude. Sixty degrees out. Why? Dude, don't, don't build get... angry. Don't build I'm not, angry. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I'm. I'm cool. Yeah. Okay. I've heard of this before. Okay. I'm cool. Ah. Uh, nope. I gave Frank a or a. D4R2 to go get his flying. So hopefully after this event, 
late tonight, we can go find a parking garage. Oh, is that the plan? Dude, we're not going to get out of here until 12. You're going to be flying in a parking garage at 2 in the morning. That's fine. I'll do it. Well, you could probably just fly at this parking garage, the one right behind us. Uh, all right. Uh, nobody did anything with balloons yet, right? I well, think Frank did. Frank did? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to grab the rest of my stuff, and then uh, I'm going to start clearing off this table and start setting up. So this is basically what was left after the science center. We have a lot of broken quads now, don't we? Mm -hmm. We've got a. Uh, actually, you know what? I think your propellers stayed mostly okay. It, no, I, I replaced a couple. You replaced. <laughs> you actually couple. broke. Yeah. Take a look at his. Like he's got like nicks here, and like he really. It's a different material, though. Yeah, I know, but like, what did he hit? He's like, holy oh, cow! Oh, he hit me. Oh. This is what destroyed the little mini quad. You two kept hitting each other? Well, it's like this. I was doing acrobatics, he was flying this, and I acrobatic into his quad. Oh. His quad didn't hit the ground. My quad hit the ground. Was it this one? No, this was, this was uh, the one Frank was flying yes. right here. What do you think is wrong with that one? I don't even know. He said motor and ESC is, I don't know. It, it could be nothing. It, it's just taking it home and figuring it out, right? Yeah, and then this is the one you were working with, right? Yeah, and I know for sure that the one that we fixed in the beginning, the pad lifted. Again? It, yeah. Okay, is that See? what is that what killed it? Yes. Okay. And, and the pad completely lifted this time. It was, this was a fix. That's why the, um, this was a field fix. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that was the one that got destroyed, like, literally three times. Yes. We had, three times we fixed this ESC before finally it just 
you gave up. Lifting the pad. And the, if you notice those Kissy SCs, they have like the little holes that are drilled through to kind of prevent from the pad lifting. But yeah. I think after three times, it's just given up. Yeah. <clears throat> this is the one that I was test flying with people, and like they. They kind of yeah. It, it it took a beating. Yeah, we. <laughs> you missing it. Yeah, yeah, and this one's bent, and like we actually managed to break quite a few of these props. I didn't think they would manage to do that, but this is what we were letting newbies fly as a uh, test, and then we were actually had a harness to keep it on the ground. Are those like paint or any color? Like, or is it just lighting in here? No, that's just orange. But uh, yeah, we got a lot to fix in the uh, next few days, and then. I didn't get to really fly that guy at all. I need more batteries for that guy. But like, this one right here is the one we're gonna donate to the Science Center. So this is the one that we need to fix. And then this one will just come back. Yeah, so this is yours, right? Yep. What's left of it anyways. Well, We've already fixed that like three times now. <laughs> Once we get the ESC back on there, it will be a good flying machine again. Yep. Well, we'll see how it goes, right? Right. 